Hi, my name is Kurt Haas from the Brain Research Center at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. And I'll take you through some of the methods we've employed for our study in this issue of Neuron, where we examined the roles of the cell adhesion molecules, norexin and neuroligin, in dendritic arbor growth within the intact and awake developing vertebrate brain. We use the albino Xenopus labus tadpole as a model organism because its transparency offers a window for direct viewing into the developing vertebrate brain. We transfect individual brain neurons using a technique called single cell electroporation for expression of GFP along with constructs that either interfere with or enhance interactions between norexin and neuroligin. In vivo, two photon microscopy then provides high resolution three dimensional images of neurons. Rapid time lapse imaging in the intact and awake tadpole allows us to capture the dynamic dendritic growth behavior as Philopodi asserts their environment for appropriate presynaptic partners. At this stage of neuronal maturation, dendritic philopodi are not precursors of spines, but rather they develop into longer branches. In our study, we demonstrate application of our new dynamic morphometrics analysis that allows identification, tracking, and measurement of all dendritic philopodian branches in 3D across brief time points over periods of hours. These methods offer unprecedented quantification of dendritic dynamic growth and have allowed us to distinguish the subtle morphological effects of initial cell adhesion interactions from subsequent synapse development. Using long interval imaging over days, we can capture the cumulative effects of normal or altered rapid growth behavior on the mature dendritic arbor. Here we combine these strategies to test the acute and long-term effects of the cell adhesion molecules norexin and neuroligin in dendrogenesis in vivo. Now the lead author of the study will take you through the results. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Chen. I'm a PhD student in Dr. Kurhaus lab at the University of British Columbia. In this study, we focused on how cell shell molecule norexin neuroligin regulates dendritic arbor growth during early brain development. To date, the majority of research on neuroxin and neuroligin have been mainly focused on their roles in synapse development and function. But our results show that these molecules also play an important function in a larger context in directing neuronal structural growth. At first, we overexpressed synapse neuroligin 1 in individual tactile neurons and performed in vivo two photon time lapse imaging. We found that Overexpressing neuroligin 1 hyperstabilizes dendritic philopodia, shown by increased philopodia lifetime and low motility. Over four days, this leads to the formation of small but complex and compact dendritic arbors. We also blocked neurexin neuroligin 1 interactions by knocking down endogenous neuroligin 1 using morphino oligonucleotides. Knocking down neuroligin 1 prevents philopodia from stabilization shown by decreased philopodia lifetime and high motility. Knocking down neuroligin 1 also results in the formation of simple dendritic arbors over four days. Combining with our other results, we showed that neurexin neuroligin 1 interactions regulate dendritic philopodia stabilization in three distinct mechanisms. And here's the model that we propose. In the initial step, upon nascent axonal dendritic contact, neurexin and neuroligin 1 create adhesions that comfort transient stabilization to prevent philopodia from rapid retraction. Subsequently, neuroligin 1 clusters and promote recruitment of other postsynaptic proteins through its intracellular PDZ domain. Neuronal transmission is then necessary to drive activity-dependent synapse maturation to confer philopodia stabilization and promote further elongation and transition into dendritic branches. Synapses that fail to mature will eventually be eliminated and lead to philopodia retraction. These results demonstrate that we have to think more broadly about the roles of cell adhesion molecules as not just regulating synaptogenesis, but contributing to regulation of larger neuronal morphological growth. These results are also important given the recent findings of mutations in norexins and neuroligins and their binding partners in autism spectrum disorders, suggesting that abnormal dendritic arbor growth may contribute to the cognitive deficits underlying developmental neurological disorders.